Hey YouTuber Ando here. So today we're building a new fire kit for the new bug out bag. Uh, and you can see here, these are all our old kits. I've torn them all down. Uh, I've just taken them all apart. This is the old, you know, waterproof kit we made. This is the actual waterproof kit we made that works on the boat. Uh, we tried to make this one waterproof, not so waterproof. I did a video on that, but we did upgrade it. We're going to be doing a video testing all the waterproof kits out soon. Uh, this 5-in-1 tool, we're going to test it. Then I have another little case in here we're going to test. <clears throat> but I'm glad I tore them down because I started going through my stuff. I had a decent uh, Light My Fire Ferro rod, and I had another one that was a cheaper version of it that actually it worked. It just didn't work as good as the Light My Fire. I can't find either one of them. Uh, so if I would have went and digging through one of my kits and looking for my ferro rods, I'd have been screwed. So I'm glad I tore them all down and now I can see what I have to work with. Uh, <clears throat> and I was thinking about some kind of pack that I can carry on the outside of my pack. Something like this. Uh, you can see it's really thin, but it will hold some matches and some tinder. It'll hold the, you know, the magnesium block and flint and all that stuff. A piece of these cup pieces of these coggling something like that but I don't want anything that I can't put in my pocket I can put that in my pocket don't get me wrong I can throw it around my neck there's a dozen different things I can do with it but I want something that's uh, kind of like keychain friendly and that's what I started looking into and by the way I always carry a Zippo lighter and then I have a cheap lighter no, it's not always a big. I know everybody says, always carry a big. It's not always a big for me. Uh, if they sell these uh, two for a dollar, I'll pick a couple of them up and I'll just, you know, go through them three times faster than I would a big. <clears throat> but I'll buy them nonetheless because I lose lighter so often. So here's what I've come up with. Uh, and it's just, it's a start that's going to be changed a lot. <clears throat> I don't like everything that's on here. For one, I hate these. Uh, magnesium block and flint whatever you want to call them um, this magnesium is just too hard to work with uh, I don't like working with it I like carrying tubes of magnesium if anything if I'm gonna work with magnesium uh, tubes of sparklers work great so a lot better than this stuff and it takes a spark a lot easier too uh, so this is probably more than likely gonna come off I'm just using it now uh, just until I get a good ferro rod on here or something like that. I have a peanut lighter. These things will hold fuel for a really long time. But they don't work well in high winds. Uh, actually not at all in high winds. And I do carry these little tubes right here. When this tube's full of Zippo fluid, uh, it'll fill my lighter when it's bone dry one time so to, it, it's a complete refill where it's completely soaked uh, saturated just enough to where the fluids not coming out onto the outside so it'll fill it once it'll fill this peanut lighter probably three mm, probably three times maybe four so this is going to be taken off we're going to put a ferro rod on here this is going to be left on here and I'm probably going to take the littler piece of uh, fat wood off, and that's what this is, fat wood. I don't know if I mentioned that. Uh, takes a spark really well. I like working with fat wood. However, uh, <clears throat> it doesn't always take a, a spark from a ferro rod very easily. If you uh, take your knife and just carve it down and make some nice little feathers off of it, some curls, uh, that'll take a spark really well. So it's something to work with. <clears throat> There is something I want to add on here. I want to get a small tube, uh, maybe a bit bigger than this, a little bit longer, a little bit fatter, uh, to put some kind of material in, like cotton, something that I know is going to take a spark from a ferro rod really quickly, and I'll use that as a you know emergency if I need to get a fire going right then. Uh, I could pull that cotton out, throw it under some fat wood, uh, even if I had to use half a stick, something like that. Uh, just throw it on there and get a fire going really quickly. Uh, so there's going to be some stuff added. There's going to be some stuff taken off. But this is going to be the gist of it right here. This is going to be our fire kit. And on the inside of our pack, we'll carry like a pack of 
uh, windproof matches, a pack of waterproof matches, and then a pack of Strike Anywhere matches as well. Uh, we'll just keep those in a rubber band packed together somewhere throughout the pack in one of the pockets uh, where they can be accessed easily. But I want something that hangs on the outside of my pack uh, that when we, if we do have to go, I can take off the pack and put onto my person. You know, something I can keep on me. Uh, that way, if I get separated from the pack for any reason, I still have my fire making material on my person. Even though I do have this in my pocket, I want this as a backup. So. Uh, just you know redundancies all that good stuff uh, so when we get it all put together uh, the bag that is we're going to be doing a video on it I think we're just going to go ahead and do a video on it and then we'll do an update when we finish it because it's going to be a while before we're finished with it uh, we're going to be working on it for quite a while so uh, once we get it completely done we'll do a, a full video on it but we're going to be doing an update video on it nonetheless here real soon be looking out for that one and uh we got a bunch of other videos coming out as well, so be looking out for those. Uh, that's going to be it for this one. Thanks for watching, YouTube.